it's finally sweater weather. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. So, I need to admit something. I have a problem. I have a very big problem. This isn't even all of them. Today, I'm going to do a bargain book book haul. A book haul that was not supposed to happen. So here's the story. I went on Book Depository and I found a bunch of books that I don't want to pay full price for. <laughs> I do have a plan for these kinds of books. I wouldn't call them trash, but I also would call them trash. I don't know who allowed them to be published or if they just were like, it has words, publish. So there's going to be some vlogs of those coming up real soon. I think next month I'm going to start doing that, but I haven't decided what to call it yet. Also, I discovered, and I feel really old and really dumb for this, I discovered that libraries have apps now. And you can just check out books on this app. There's the Libby app and Overdrive. And it's really cool. And all you need is a library card. And I got some audiobooks off of there, which was really nice. But also, I had to go back to the library to pay off a fine. And I went to a library that my husband used to live by. And they were having a book sale. 50 cents a book. How could I pass that up? How could I pass it up? You can't pass it up. Also, I feel like I have tiny hands because of my sweater, but anyway, yes. So I have too many books. So let's, let's get this party started. We're gonna start with the books that I got from Book Depository. So judgment, go ahead, judge. I, I welcome the judgment. Let it flood over me like a tiny wave. So the first book that I got from Book Depository is Gray by E.L. James. Ooh, stuff just fell out. They give you lots of bookmarks. So I did read the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy when they came out. I read them on my nook. That's what those things are called, right? Nook. And I hated them. I read all three of them because I will literally read anything. I will read anything. So... I bought this on a dare, and I also realized that my library has it, but now I own it. <laughs> I hate it. So it's just the first Fifty Shades of Grey as told through the eyes of Christian Grey, the male love interest. If you don't know anything about Fifty Shades of Grey, and if you don't, I'm sorry that I'm here to talk to you about it for a little bit. I'm not... Why did I do this? I'm going to read all of the trash in the world and this has to be included. Not sorry. The next book I got from Book Depository is actually out of print, which is kind of sad and kind of funny at the same time. <laughs> so this is, this is many, many names. This is The Story of Lex and Livia, Rebels, City of Indra by Kendall and Kylie Jenner. But the people who are not mentioned as co-authors, <sighs> come on are Elizabeth Kilman Roman and Maya Sloan. So this book was written by, written by four people and the synopsis is just as long as the book it looks like. So I'm, I remember when this came out and I would read, like jokingly take it off the shelf and read it to my husband. <sighs> Again, why did I do this to myself? I started reading it and I wanted to scream. So I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to hate this book. I'm gonna hate it and watch I'm gonna love it. But anyway, the sequel is actually at my local Barnes and Noble. There's two copies left and they're signed and they've been there for like three years. You'd think it would go in the bargain section by now. Come on Barnes and Noble, get on my level. I need to read these trash, but I don't wanna pay $19 to read the trash. Thank you. Oh God, so why do I hate myself so much? I'm a mask, yes, I need to hate myself. So the next book that I purchased from Book Depository, thank you Book Depository for allowing me to access literary garbage so easily. I purchased Life and Death, Twilight Reimagined, the 10th anniversary edition by Stephanie Meyer. I also read all of Twilight and I remember when those books came out and I remember I didn't like Twilight when I first read it and then I reread it and I liked it a lot more 
and then I read New Moon and I really liked it and then I was I realized I was having a lot of relationship problems so maybe that's why I liked it because when I reread them for a third time before Eclipse came out I was like why did I like this this is so depressing and Bella doesn't exist like I could replace her with a Lego brick and it'd be the same same exact thing and then Breaking Dawn came out and I was like okay like this is all garbage but now you just like flipped it and reversed it into more garbage somehow I I'll talk about that more when I do a review for this thing but this is a gender swap version of Twilight and instead of Bella and Edward they are called Beaufort and Edith. I know I have a friend who loves Twilight and I love her. I love her so much and it's okay. You can like you can like whatever you like. You can have your own opinions. She didn't like this and I said the same thing that she did. I was like why didn't she just release Midnight Sun? Why does she hate us all? And she being Stephanie Meyer. But I don't know. I don't know the inner workings of her brain but yes. I started reading it and my greatest disappointment is that there's still Beaufort Swan is still moving to Forks. Should have been Spoons. Opportunity missed. The next two books are by Wattpad authors and I'm very bitter about Wattpad authors because I <laughs> I guess I fancied myself a writer for maybe a couple of years. Um, I have some stuff that I've written that I've just never shown anybody because I'm embarrassing and ashamed and I know what good writing is and mine isn't so um someone who is my age Anna Todd has a bunch of successful books and they're published and they even made a movie and I don't I can't say that they're good and I can't say the movie is good but I mean she she put herself out there and I can't I can't dismiss her for that so we're going to continue my bitter parade of bitterness and dark clouds and me and my pastel colors. I purchased The Cabin by Natasha Preston, aka Wattpad Sensation Natasha, Natasha Preston. I believe this one is about um, a girl named Mackenzie and the Clark Kens and she goes to a cabin with a bunch of her friends and two, two of them end up dead and yeah. Um, I watched Insane Readers, Caleb's review of The Cellar by Natasha Preston and it was so hilariously bad that I was like okay I need to read I need to read one for myself and see so I'm gonna link his video down below in the description because it just Caleb is just he's just a beautiful human and I love him so much the next book is I definitely picked this up before I knew it was a Wattpad author and I was like damn this sounds it sounds cliche and pretty bad but I still bought it this is Ali Novik's Heartbreakers. Ali Novik is known as Falls with a Z Swimmer on Wattpad. Yeah, this isn't a book depository book. I actually got this from the library sale, but yeah, it's called The Heartbreakers. And this girl falls in love with the lead singer of this really hot band, but she doesn't like the band. And her sister is dying of cancer. And I was like, I feel like this is Nicholas Sparks fan fiction of some sort because you know he always does that he's somebody always has to die or be abused or something and I mean those books get me I'm I'm guilty of reading Nicholas Sparks but I still I don't know we'll see I'm, I'm gonna give this one a shot because I really like books with music in it because it's just who I am as a person now we're gonna jump into more of the library books I got all of these in the library sale. They were all 50 cents. Shout out to my husband. You're a good man. <laughs> I don't think this is the entire The Click series. This is The Click series by, I want to say, Lisey? Leslie? Lise, Lise, Lisey. Let's go with Lisey. Lisey Harrison. She actually based this book series on her time at MTV. And this book series is about, if you don't know, it's like a middle school version of Mean Girls. This tiny human named Claire moves up from Florida to New York, Westchester County, New York. And she meets these four girls, Massey, Alicia, Dylan, and Kristen. And she actually is living in the guest house of Massey. And Claire's just like normal average girl. Um, but Massey is super ridiculously rich. And they bully the shit out of her. 
Why do I love this? Because I'm a terrible human. Uh, I also unabashedly love the movie that Tyra Banks executive produced. Um, if you ever get a chance to watch The Click, I highly recommend to watch it. It is very funny. Like, in, it's a great bad movie and I love it so much. So I have all of these books. I don't know if I have the whole series, but now I'm really excited to re- I'm, I remember reading this one. I'm really excited to reread this one and read the rest of them. I don't know if I'm going to do any reviews on them, but they might just sit on my shelf and I can live happily with my middle school trash. Okay. I have two books. No, I have one more trash book. Okay, first of all, it's glittering. This is called True Confessions of a Hollywood Starlet by Lola Douglas. I feel like this is on my TBR list because, again, this is who I am as a person. She gets sent to Indiana and she's a starlet, hence the title. And she ends up falling in love with somebody out there and she has the opportunity to have a real life which she really likes as it turns out and then the opportunity to come back to Hollywood presents itself and she's like what do so I believe they made a lifetime movie out of this starring Jojo but I could be really wrong somebody tell me down below I really should do more research but eh, say lovey so could be trash could be not we'll see then we're going to dive in to some books that I got that are not trash, still a deal, but here we go. I got Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Suzanne. Jacqueline, I love saying that name. And I know it's a movie cover, but look at this. That's so cool. I've never seen the movie, so I thought I'd give it a go, give the book a go. Um, and apparently Jacqueline Suzanne was an actress, and <laughs> I love this. She won the Best Dress Woman in Television Award four times. I really just... How could you not love an author like that? So this book is about three women who end up becoming friends in New York City on their way to stardom and they realize there's a price to pay. They also love popping pills for, to, you know, just borrow that little phrase. Yeah, I love Sharon Tate. There she is, my little baby right there. And yeah, I'm kind of excited to read it. It's pink. I love pink. I love pastel. Yeah. All right, last book, I promise. I did not buy this at Book Depository or at the library during the sale, but I did get a deal on it. Shout out to my mom. I love Catherine McGee's Thousand Floor Trilogy, and when I found out she was writing this book called American Royals, I was like, finally, I need something. And it's, the Thousand Floor series was juicy and gossip girly, and I, I adore Gossip Girl, except for the third season, we don't talk about that season. But this book is, if Washington had accepted a monarchy as opposed to a democracy and this is his descendants it's about his descendants his family it's an alternate united states of america without the dystopian society and it's just the politics and the relationships and the scandals and all the douchey trashy stuff that i live for yes without hurting anybody's actual feelings but yeah look at this cover i just dig the actual book is red white and blue you could also be like oh that's france but yeah and the inside of the book is really cute but I read a, a sample of it from the library and I really liked it. So I was like, I need to get it. It was $10 at Target. I, if you're interested in this, I think you need to go to Target. I mean, not all Targets are created equal, but at a couple of Targets I went to, it was $10. So yeah, that completes this video, this little book haul that wasn't supposed to happen. I'm a little ashamed, but I'm also really excited because I love books. And a little bit of housekeeping, I have started filming some movie reviews with a really good friend of mine. His name is Chandler, and those should be going up soon. We love watching trash movies. We love watching movies that could be bad. So those are going to be up every once in a while. Not instead of a book video, though. They're going to be up on a different day of the week. I believe Saturdays. But I haven't. 100% decided on that yet. But yeah, so if you're interested in watching a bad movie, but you don't know if you should watch it, we'll watch it for you and review it. So leave some of those down below if that's something you're into. That also goes for any trash book you maybe wanted to read. Just let me know if you're like, hey, I wanted to read this, but I think it could be bad. Or hey, I want to read this, but it has some bad reviews and I will totally read it for you and let you know. Yes, I'm willing to scar my eyes for you. <laughs> 
yeah, no, really, I am. You know, I recognize that they put their heart and souls into these books and that somebody somewhere was like, this is good. We're going to sell it. Good job. Props. I'm like, okay, I'm proud of you too. But I'm also, I don't think it's very good. And I believe in constructive criticism. I'm not here to just make fun. I, constructive criticism could help, right? So even if it's trash, I could be like, look, this is trash and here's why. So I'm not just going to be like, this is garbage. Set it all on fire. I mean, just set me on fire. <sighs> but yeah, that completes this video. Thanks for watching. Make those choices. Goodbye. <laughs>